the Friends of the Custodians um, is a group representing different stakeholders. Uh, and it was born out of a meeting in March uh, 2017 where the, a group of donors came together with the custodians for 1.4.2. And we recognise that actually this, there's a lot, of, a lot of people have worked very hard and lots of organisations have worked very hard to get a land indicator and more than just one indicator into the SDGs. And there's a lot of people who have a stake in this indicator and they want to be part of the process in making sure that the methodology is robust uh, and that it actually gets through to the stage where it is a formal SDG indicator. And so we were trying to think of a way to support the custodians to engage different stakeholder groups and work out how we can help them get the resources needed to make this uh, SDG happen. So I think the, the first point to note is that there are a number of, of land indicators. So we, um, uh, there's a lot of interest in 1.4.2 because it's under the, the poverty goal and that's a really important area to focus on. But there's also other land indicators, 5A1, which focuses on, on, on women's uh, access, uh, tenure security, and in between agriculture. Um, and I think these, these indicators are really important because for the first time it provides a, a kind of global framework to monitor the outcome of all the work we're doing on land and to see what progress we're making. So there's lots of projects and programs on land all around the world which donors have funded. Uh, but I don't think we've really ever had a means to assess country by country what is this all adding up to? How is it making a difference to people? And, and I think what's important about this, this indicator is it captures both um, land administration, so how is the country assessing um, people's access to proper documentation, but critically it's looking at uh, tenure perceptions of tenure security. So do people actually feel secure uh, um, and uh, in, uh, on, on their land or in their home, uh, which is ultimately what this is all about, because that's the kind of uh, that's the change that will make them invest more, will make them um, change their behaviour and lead to the development outcomes we're we're aiming for. I think it's really important for well for two reasons. One, it uh, I think it makes sure that land is, is remains a central focus within the global development debate. Uh, and so I think a lot of people work to get it in there. We need to make sure that it actually becomes an SD indicator. And that's a, a kind of important hook uh, for, for all of us in the land community. And I think secondly, it provides us with a systematic way to assess uh, whether the work we are funding is actually making a difference. And not just that we've uh, supported better documentation or better land administrations, but it's really making a difference um, to people on the ground.